Uh, I play uh, somebody called Eleanor Rockall. She absolutely lives for the girls in the school, and that's her life. The girls are very fond of her, in a way. It's what happens to that relationship um, and what happens ultimately to the girls is what the film is about. I was doing a film called Victoria and Ab uh, Abdul. Eddie Izzard was playing the Prince of Wales. And he happened to say about this story, the school in Bexhill run uh, by this English woman for the daughters of aristocratic Germans. But he said, would you like to come and see the actual school? I mean, my imagination was caught anyway. But, um, I mean, Eddie said, would you do it? And I said, no question, of course. This story is based on a fact, not all the film, of course. You hope that the people who remember that era of history, um, it might ring bells and things, and the people who don't know that will be interested to know about it. It's a film that I think Eddie would like to convey, that, you know, here was something that happened, and it shouldn't happen again. I play a character called Thomas Miller. When we come to the story, he's just arriving at the school, at the Augusta Victoria School. He's trying to find out what is happening in the school. It is set in the summer of 39. It's literally a few days before World War II kicks off. The tension is getting very high. And these girls are the daughters of the Nazi high command. I think Thomas is trying to be a friend to them. He decides they're worth fighting for. I've never played a role like this. I've never played an action role. I feel this is James Bond on a bike. Um, I'm on bikes, I'm running, and I'm on bike. You know, Tom Cruise does all his own stunts, and I do all my own stunts. My stunts aren't quite as flashy as his, but I'm on one of my own bicycles and running, that's basically it. And jumping over walls and fences and running over a hill. Definitely working on the script with Kellen Jones and Andy Goddard has been uh, something that has leapt everything forward, and hopefully we have a film. It's quite tricky to please three people but hopefully we've got a film that, in the end, we're all gonna be happy with. So much money involved in filmmaking that you've really gotta get on, you've gotta move on, you've gotta push on, we've gotta change this, we're gonna lose the light. The, the pressures are immense, but uh, Andy, God, I would always push to get the right shot, rather than leave it and say, well, I haven't got the right shot, we've gotta move on, and that, that'll have to do. That is the way to do it. You want something that is brilliant, um, you don't want something that's really quite good. There's a certain connection between Thomas Miller and other characters that I've played that have been charged and constantly wanting to push forward. A character that is driven, pushes endlessly to try and get a denouement to the film, an end of his story and the film's story that is, is positive. I like playing those roles because that matches my own life. You have to, as an actor, be able to judge yourself. So at the end of a take, you go, yes, I think that take's good for me. And if the director's going, yeah, that that one, yes, moving on. Moving on is the magic word, because when you're moving on, that means that work was good.